Hello guys and welcome to this short tutorial today. As you can see in the screen, we'll be exploring the algebraic intuition of the FWL theorem, also known as the fritsch well level theorem. So below the title, we've got ourselves a linear regression model, or to be more specific, a multiple linear regression model, where we have the vector of y equals the matrix x times the vector beta plus the vector of u or the error term. Now the FWL theorem here is most useful when we only want to measure or estimate rather a subset of the regressors that are present in this model. So let's just say that we were to split this regression in the following manner. So we've got x is matrix X to be this matrix here and this matrix here. So we've basically partitioned the matrix with beta one and beta two plus U. Now using vector multiplication, we can clearly see that if we were to expand this out, we would get x1 times beta1 plus x2 times beta2 plus u. Let's just say that we only wanted to estimate this beta2. So the FWL theorem gives us a way to get rid of this first set of regressions here. We can do so by simply using what we call an orthogonal projection matrix or in notation form is known as M with a subscript of X1. So simply put, we can multiply this entire linear regression model by this orthogonal projection matrix to allow ourselves to get rid of this part as I have boxed here in green. So to see how this works, Let's just multiply the entire model. We've got the orthogonal projection matrix x1 times x1 times the beta1 plus the orthogonal projection matrix of x1 times x2 times beta2 plus the orthogonal projection matrix of x1 times the error term vector. Now, I won't go much into the geometric reasoning of why this tends to zero, but just trust me when I say that this does tend to a matrix full of zeros. Sorry, a vector full of zeros, because this is a vector. So we plus this with everything else. Now, another thing to note here is that the orthogonal projection matrix of x1 times the vector of errors is actually just the same as the vec vector of error terms itself. So now that we've gotten rid of the first set of regressors, we can simply just estimate beta 2 the way we normally do with an all list estimation process. Okay, so let's just put a hat there just to estimate it. So the result here would be x, sorry, x2 transpose times the orthogonal projection matrix times the x2 matrix with the entire expression inside the brackets inversed times x2 transpose times the orthogonal projection matrix times y. Of course, do keep in mind that this here is actually just an orthogonal projection matrix that allows us to create residuals. And I'll explain more about this next time, but just for now, be mindful that if you want to get rid of this first term, simply use the orthogonal projection matrix here 
to do so, which allows us to estimate beta 2 while ignoring the first set of regressors.